So let's do CH2, CH2. Question being, draw the hybrid orbitals. So what you'd want to do is first draw the uh, Lewis structure. So you got to go valence electrons equals 2 times 4 for carbon, that's 8, plus there's 4 hydrogens, uh, each at 1, 4. So that's 12. The carbons are in the middle. Uh, I'll draw it over here. Carbon, carbon. So 2 of the hydrogens are on the outsides. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. There's 10. I can put the lone pair right here, but that would cause that other carbon not to have an octet. So how do I fix that? Double bond. Double bond, right there. Now everything has an octet. Uh, how many groups are on each of those carbons? Three, so the hybridization. SP2. SP2. Shape? Uh, trigonal planar. Yeah, trigonal planar bond angle. 120, number of sigma bonds? Five. Pi bonds? One. Okay. They're all those questions, right? Those are normal questions. Okay. So let's write sp2. This is sp2. So if you wanted to draw this with the hybrid orbitals, just do one carbon at a time. The carbon is sp2 hybridized. So draw your sp2. Three sp2 hybrid orbitals at 120 degrees. I'm going to draw end on, just like I did in class, and a little bit earlier also. These are three sp2 hybrid orbitals. They each have one electron. What else does an sp2 hybridized atom have? <laughs> Another orbital. It has the 2p unhybridized orbital that's orthogonal to this. Oops. So make sure you draw this. This is a 2p. It has one electron in it. Okay. Now let's draw the other carbon on the right. Okay, so this is a carbon on the left. I'll draw the one on the right now. Right here. It's also sp2. So and we know it's going to form a sigma bond, so I'll draw this one, and this one, and this one. So I'm drawing essentially the mirror image of the other one. There's the three sp2 hybridized orbitals. They each have one electron in them. That one also has a 2p orbital. That has one electron. Do you want to put a 2 at SP2 there? Say that again? Is that a SP2 that needs to be right there? Oh, or sorry, or SP2. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, now this is a sigma. Oh, and there's each carbon brings one electron, so I better put a second electron like that. Now, I said it before, what kind of bond is this? Sigma. Sigma, how do you know it's a sigma? That's right. Yeah, the bond is between the two atoms, so this has to be sigma. That's the sigma bond. There's also a pi bond. You know that from here. You told me there's one pi bond. That pi bond happens between these. They overlap. It doesn't look like they overlap, but it, I just drew it really spread out so you can see it. But actually, this is so squished together that these orbitals actually touch each other. And the p orbital is a lot fatter than I drew it. It's a lot more bulbous, so they'd actually overlap to form a bond. But I'm just showing it by the lines. Yeah? Wait, you said there were only one electrons on that top lobe, right? Of yeah, one the here bottom. and one here. So the bottom doesn't seem to have anything. How is it that they're able to link? These, uh, this electron here is asking where the electrons are. This electron exists everywhere in here. So I'm just, because I can't draw that, I have to pick one location and put it there. But exact actually exists everywhere here. Same with these electrons. Okay? Now this is a pi bond, why? Because 
between the atoms? Yeah, the bond does not happen between the atoms. In this case, it happens above and below the atoms. You got a question also? So the two P's are pi bonds? The two P's form a pi bond. All the hybridized orbitals form sigma bonds. So we have the two P's because there is a pi bond. Uh, the 2p orbitals exist because it's sp2 hybridized. And if you look back on your picture that we drew a little earlier, the sp2 hybridized has three lines for sp2, and then the 2p, one of those 2p's is unhybridized. And that's this one right here. So if you remember, the picture looked like this. One, two, three for the sp2, and one 2p orbital up there. There's one electron there and one in each of the other ones. So that 2p is right here. These three sp3s for this carbon is here, here, and here. For the other one, here's the 2p, and here's the th three sp2s for these three. And is that why there are no dots in the bottom 2p? <clears throat> Down here? Yeah. Uh, this p orbital is one entity. And it has one electron, I just happened to put it here. I could have drew it here, or here, or here, or here, wherever, as long as it's inside the lobe. I just think it's prettier to put it at the top. That's it. OK, we haven't finished our drawing yet. I haven't put in the hydrogens yet. Hydrogens are what orbital? S. S, and that looks like a sphere. So if each bring in one electron. So these are all 1s orbitals. This bond here is what? Sigma. Sigma. Because it's between atoms. All these carbon-hydrogen bonds are sigma bonds. Sometimes we ask you to name the type of bond. You'll see this on some of the tests or in the homework. So for example, this bond between the two carbons this sigma bond is a sigma sp sp bond. Or sp2, sorry. Sigma sp2 sp2. So it's a sigma bond between an sp2 and another sp2. This bond here is a little different. It's a sigma bond, but sigma sp2 to 1s. Okay, so sometimes we have you label the bonds, not necessarily drawing it, but just labeling the bonds. The pi bond is a pi 2p to 2p. So there's what you asked for. Do you have a question on this? Oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, well they well they how they phrase it on the test so that we would know to make that form instead of the uh, if it asks you for the bond, say what kind of sigma bond is between the carbons, you wouldn't have to draw this, you just say sigma sp2 to sp2. Uh -huh. If it asked you to draw the molecule with the hybrid orbitals, you'd have to draw something like this. Okay. 